Hello to my Leos. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. This reading is for the 3rd of March through the 3rd of April. We're coming up on this last quarter moon phase. And so if um, this weekend you've been feeling some kind of way, like whenever you think about certain people, places, and things, it really angers and frustrates you. You know, like feeling like a volcano is about to erupt. Source is saying that's your cue to purge. It doesn't matter who it is or what it is. It's, that's your cue to purge right there. Um, because you, you need to make room for whatever it is that you prayed for. Whatever you're praying for during this year of wealth, that's starting you, helping you to learn how to purge long before Pluto goes retrograde, May 2nd, right? So... Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. It's one of its ruling planets, and it's also ruled by Mars, which is a tower card. So it's moved by the judgment in the tower card. If something has been making you sick to your stomach or that angry and frustrated, whatever is connected to, it's time to purge that. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Talking to you wherever Leo is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. Wherever Leo is in your birth chart, even if it's in one of your houses, right? So check your birth chart. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, you know my information is down below. You know that we do not solicit donations. So if you get that uh, DM or whatever, Leo's on Instagram, it is not us. <laughs> and so, and thank you to those of you all who even sent me like screenshots of very long responses to like comments in the comment section. That is not us, right? Um, I don't, I don't even know what the message says anymore, so, um, but it's not us anyway, let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Leo's let's do it. For those of you all who have your, um, your digital calendar and your digital, um, journal, uh, thank you. You can also, um, you know, like I said, that's also optional as well. Let's get into it. First card out of the card is a justice card, right? All right. We also have the five of pentacles. We have the hierophant card. We have the magician card, the wheel of fortune and um, the ace of pentacles. So somebody may be parting ways possibly with a Taurus or a Libra. Taurus and Libra are ruled by Venus. Um, somebody is parting ways with any energies within yourself first and foremost that could cause you to um, cut into your own. Venus is a planet of love and pleasure, art, music, aesthetics. It's the planet of, um, it's a planet, it's a peacemaker planet, right? So you're cutting away at anything that you felt like has disrupted your peace in any way, shape, form, or fashion. You could have Libra and Taurus in your birth chart. Here we have the magician card. Anything that you felt like, that you feel like, okay, it's disrupting my peace, I'm saying deuces to it. If, if it's disrupting my peace in any way, shape, form, or fashion, if I'm holding on to other people's belief systems that don't don't that clash with mine, and it causes me a disruption of peace, and it has me sitting right here in front of my vault door, I'm parting ways with it. So it's two types of energies um, um, that, so, and, and I'm seeing time here. Here we have the wheel of fortune. Source is giving somebody some time to recognize what it is. Right. Um, I, I feel like you're d detaching from energies like their family views of things like how they um, somebody could um, be connected to, like I said, a Taurus or they could have Taurus somewhere in their birth chart. Um, and you could have been looking for somebody's approval. It could have called. It's just like a. It's it, it. It's like somebody being connected to someone who is very stubborn and bullheaded, and you keep trying to inspire and motivate those types of energies. Um, you know, like you're trying to be a sunny, have a sunny disposition in their lives, and um, it it brings out the dark side of the fire, right? So it actually is a negative reflection on you, and so source is saying to you. People start seeing you differently because we're talking about emotions. We're talking about water. How they see themselves is a negative reflection on you. And people look at you as a person who is, um, who is like them. They have like this very bullying type of energy or they, so they, even if they're not a bully, they're just very stubborn. They, they, they won't, it's like they, they just won't. You know, this is kind of fixated on their ways. They're not even trying to adapt. So anyway, I definitely see you moving forward. I, I see you moving forward. Let's see what else we got going on here, Leos. Let's see what else we have going on so you can get back to your sunny disposition. I see that you're very caring. You're, um, 
you know, you, you decided, Hey, I live a great life. Like keep speaking that into yourself. Like optimistic, being a natural leader, being kind and protective, being vivacious, you know, radiating, radiating this light life field energy that, um, initiates and, um, and sustains all creation on life that like the sun, right? You bring light, um, sun, a sunny disposition into people's lives. So it's just saying, continue keeping that vibration high, um, as something is now over, you decided you need to move on from something, right? Anything that will seem like it's setting a trap for you, you're learning how to adapt. But to add some more insight into this, like if look at this card right here, somebody comes from a long line of energies that really root for the underdog. Like when people are feeling like they're at their lowest point, there you are with a with a light to help light their way, right? When people are um, like um, widows or motherless children, anything where you feel like society has just tossed people away, those are the energies that I feel like you latch on to. Like those are the energies until you realize they are expecting for you to carry their heaviness without doing the work. It comes across, I don't necessarily want to use the word, the word as lazy, but it comes across as because the, the, the part behind that is that they're so worn out and they're still attached to um, possibly bullying types of energies that it's a, it's a reflection on you, right? Maybe they're in a job that they hate, but you know, maybe they've been told to toughen up. I mean, it's just all kinds of stuff. And, but source is saying you're, le you're learning how to part ways. Somebody's finally freeing themselves from those types of energies. And, um, and you feel more versatile, you know, more to move around a little bit. So here we have the two of pentacles here. So we have uh five and um, one, a six, and then two obviously is um, eight. So you have now room, uh, room to move around, you know, there's at least eight streams of income. Somebody is saying, if I got, if I got eight hours to sleep, eight hours to work, I got another eight hours that I can do something with, I can invest in myself to grow my money. And that's what I'm seeing, whether it's going back to school, learning a new whatever, but I see you back in the saddle again, right? I see somebody victoriously moving on from some things after leaving behind those types of energies, right? They come across as very patient with everybody, but then um, it, it's just, you, you always, it's a nightmare. It's just a nightmare. And they tell everybody that you're the nightmare. So, hey, well, if that's, a, if that's, if I'm the nightmare, then hey, then wake up then. <laughs> that's the, that's the frequency you want. You like, hey, if I'm the nightmare, you ain't got to tell me, but one time I'm the nightmare. Okay. Guess what? We can, let's wake up from the nightmare then, right? I'm not trying to be a nightmare in your life. And I'm sure not going to let you be a nightmare in mine. Because you've already gone through enough nightmares um, long before, you know, certain energies, you know, entered your life. So I definitely see everything is lining up perfectly for you. So, yeah, everything is lining up perfectly. Um, and, and so Source is just saying, hey, look, you're focusing on legacy right now. Like, what do you want you, when people think about your name, you, you're trying to build your own legacy away from energies that you feel like uh cause you some kind of emotional wounding you're trying to build your own legacy right so that's what you're inspired to do so focusing on that here we have the queen of cups and now you're starting to pour back into yourself like really washing off your root chakra to see where the cracks are in your foundation so that you can see it ahead of time and not on the back end if that makes any sense you know what i'm saying leo's like if you're saying, hey, if I know that I come from a long line of people who root for the underdog, I got to also know the more time I put into lighting people's flame and the more they keep blowing it out, it's going to be harder for me to leave that energy as a fixed sign, right? I may find myself slip up and be fixated on trying to save people. And so Source is saying you got to recognize when the more time you put into something, the harder it may be for you as a fixed sign. Um, for you to, for you to, um, detach from the energy, right? So it, it also leaves you with this right here, ego. Am I good enough? Am I worthy? You know, could I have done more? You know, those kind of things. So it's just saying, Hey, look, if, if you've tried to inspire people and I feel like before it causes you emotionally wounding, emotional wounding, I feel like that's the lesson somebody learned. That's why somebody keeps putting themselves in nightmare situation overdoing it.
You know, I got to be the sun, moon, stars, and I got to keep shining at night. I got to shine during the day. I got to shine in this space. I got to shine, shine, shine on. And people still constantly blowing out the flame, almost expecting for you to keep on lighting their way. Right? So um, they're going to have to find the light within. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Here we have the two of cups. So source of sending soulmate energy across your path. So if, if soulmate could just be a good friend, let's say you're already married or whatever, it could be a good friend that comes across your path that just likes to pour into you. It could be a part of your soul community, right? So yeah, because this is what you're moving towards, King of Pentacles. It just really wasn't meant for some people to be in your life. I mean, for real. I mean, when you look at it, you're like, okay, how long do you keep on, you know, lighting people's flame and they keep blowing it out? At some point, you're going to have to stop yourself because it was already predestined for you to be very wealthy and you can't take everybody with you. And that's, that's the purging part. That's why I say when the moon is in Scorpio, like at the time of filming, the moon, the moon is in Scorpio, but it's going to go into Sagittarius. But at the, so when, when you get to that point where you think about certain people, places and things and who they're attached to, and it gets that, that volcano about to erupt in your spirit, detach. I need to purge that because I got stuff to do. I can go be sunny somewhere else, right? I can go lead somewhere else. Here we have the two of wands. So I definitely see somebody saying there's two types of energies you're just you're getting as far away from as possible because so you can meet your you can meet your opportunities, right? This right here lets me know there's multiple streams of income. And so if you got at least eight streams of income in you, why are you wasting your fire on energy that keeps blowing it out? Keeps frustrating you, keep causing the emotional wounding. Every time you do think about it, you get flaming hot mad. Right, so source is saying they stop wake up from the nightmare, just wake up and save yourselves. So you got a new situation coming across your path, but they're not there to save you. They're they're there to get busy. They're like, Okay, we, we got we got money to make, we got stuff to do, we got jobs to create for people, we got we want to link up with other people who are inspirational, we want to link up, we try to do something different. Like if they if they sitting over there, they don't want to get up they don't they want to be burned out and stay connected to whatever maybe sources making them rich in a different way maybe they hit the lottery down the line but for you you're focusing on um creating so and keeping a sunny disposition yep so that's what i'm seeing for you all so far let's see what else we got going on here so yeah, it was already predestined for you all to be very wealthy, Leos. But when you overdo it, like you you need to align yourself with other people who you feel like they match your energy because being around energies that are still connected to bullying types of energies who are draining them and they're expecting for you to carry their weight, it would look lazy to you, right? Or people who are manipulating their emotions, it would seem lazy to you because they're trying to process their emotions. And this isn't all, you know, and in, in, in just being compassionate towards them. You understand what, what weight they're carrying, um, possibly even in their own family, that it, it was already predestined for you to be wealthy. So sources say, how many, how long, where's the, uh, how long do you hang in there? I mean, for real, like how... You know, before you say, hey, listen, they got their own path and I have my own path because, um, yeah, because it would come across as a person who is insensitive, you know, so it's time for you to be wealthy, wealthy for real. It's time for you to stop playing yourselves and say, hey, look, I keep trying to inspire certain people because I because this is where you come from. So you don't you don't have to stop being the person that roots for the underdog. If you have a good heart, just have one. But some people will, the longer you spend time with them, the longer you keep, even if you broke up with somebody, you still connecting with them and talking to them and stuff. Somehow they feel almost entitled to your time. They call on you as their attorney, their therapist, their, their doctor, their, their everything. Like they, they, they think they're entitled to your time. So it's just like, uh-uh. Learn when you need to leave some bridges burned. Just, hey, this burning out. I, I know they call it for, oh, God. Right? So, yeah. So, I definitely see you moving forward. I definitely see you moving forward. And it's even certain your family members. They won't be entitled to this because they have their own legacy to build. But they will come around after they've caused some emotional wound. And we talk about your own family and certain, just certain people. After they've caused some kind of emotional wounding as you're trying to get your business up and going and you're working and you got a lot of things going on in your lives and they're causing all kinds of emotional wounding in your life, stressing you out. They're going to come back around asking, oh, so, you know, so uh, can I get a job? Anyway, here we have the strength card. You know, tap into your own strength, please. Tap into your own strength because... 
you, you, you've been trying to help some people. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, but I, I, like I said before, it'll put you in hermit mode at asking, what didn't I do? Could I have done more? You know, but when then that would put you in, in a position of almost feeling like you have to save certain people. We don't have the power. That's a very humbling feeling when you're a person who roots for the underdog and you really want to help people and you realize, man, nothing I did. I try to inspire, try to motivate them. And I just, you almost felt like you, you succumb to their demons like they did. But that's why prayer is important, right? I see somebody praying for people as you're on your motorcycle, your horse, your buggy, whatever, getting as far <laughs> Child, I got to get away from you because I'm I'm not trying to be contaminated by that. Source is saying to you, <laughs> source is saying to you, I'm telling you, all somebody has to do is act like you a nightmare in their life. Okay, you know what? Cut the cord. I don't want to be a nightmare in your life. I don't. I, I'm not trying to drive you crazy. Listen, I'm not trying to talk negatively. I'm not trying to add to your stress. I heard you the first time. I'm moving on. Yep. So here we have page of uh, page of cups. I see some good news coming across your path. <laughs> So I definitely see somebody's having a breakthrough. That's what I'm saying. I see you having a breakthrough. I see you having a breakthrough. So congratulations to you, Leos. That's the breakthrough. The more time you spend with people trying to warm up to them and trying to inspire and motivate them, you can do it. You can do it. You got the cheerleader pom-poms. You got the, the, the shoes on. You got the whole outfit on, whether you're a man or woman cheerleader. You're trying to cheer them. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. They keep blowing the flame out. Mm-hmm. Aren't you glad we are no one's God for real? I mean, because anyway, here we have the queen of wands. I just see you feeling happy and free for real. I, I see you pouring into yourself. And here's the thing with whoever your soulmate is, whether it develops into a love situation or, you know, romantic situation or not, I definitely see that person is they're compassionate as well. So you all are pouring into each other, the the compassion and you pour compassion into them. They pour compassion into you, you know, that kind of thing. They're just there to help fill up your cup. You know, when you get a little low and when you, when they get a little low that you're pouring into each other's cup and it's not even a, it's not a toxic bond. It's a clear water bond. So it's like, okay, if I don't emotionally, if I can't help, you know, uh, help somebody adjust their crown, I'm not going to waste my 24 hours in a day trying to knock your crown off. I want to see you win. I want to see you, even if, even if, because what, what somebody is starting to learn, Leo, is that you drop some golden nuggets into some people's, to some people's spirit. You know, you inspire some people and now they're inspired to run on to see what the end is going to be. They're like, okay, so it could take a couple of Leos or a couple of whoever in their lives, you know, that's going to help them to, to come up out of that kind of, you know, um, you know, they could be like, a, that could be, this could be them right here. This could be them right here. They working hard trying to get away from certain types of energies and they could be struggling. They really could be. That's what prayer is for. Pray for them, but get as far away from that as, because I'm telling you, you mm, they watching you. Mm -hmm. They are watching you. Somebody is watching you. <laughs> How they watch. <laughs> Woo, Leos, they are watching you. Mm, mm, mm. But they inspired. So let's keep it on the throne. They are really inspired by your hard work, your heart, your ethic. They're like, okay, I'm, I'm inspired. You know, I'm a little high-headed at first. I'm mad, but I'm I'm inspired. You know, Leo can do it. I, I can do it too, right? So they're not doing it at this. They may not be doing it at the same pace as you, but free yourself. That's what I said. Break free, dear one. <laughs> that is that is what I said before I even pulled this card. Break free, dear one. Spread wide and far, for you aren't containable. You are limitless. Woo, you were born to inspire people. When I tell you that you add value to people's lives, Leo, I can't even emphasize. I can't I can't even put an ex I can put several exclamation points behind it. And and I'm talking to anybody who has Leo in their birth chart that's so you know yourself so intimately, like you know all the houses in your um all the rooms in your house the 12 houses in your birth chart you are so you have been into every room in your birth chart and you out here got leo in you and you inspiring and motivating people so it says after a while that's draining that is like 
that is like um it's just it's just you just you you fly faster you get to your goals faster when you when you're not carrying other people's way down i can't do it and i mean they excuse uh, so when i say when i say break break <laughs> i break free Woo, somebody feels free because you know your worth that's it See them, them little rosy cheeks. That's that's you when you was a kid, right? That's I'm talking about men and women. That's you when you were a kid. You like I gotta awaken the lion or lioness in me, right? Here's the um worth. You know your worth, and I'm not talking about in a predatory way, like an apex predator, like a lion in a wilderness. You're saying I'm 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 running wild and free like a lion, hair just blowing in, <laughs> whether you got hair or not, whether. <laughs> Whether it's your hair or not, Leos, it don't even matter. You like, woo, I gotta break free. I got I got somewhere to go. I got something to do. I got I, mean, I got people to inspire. Um, um, and so that's what you're moving towards. You're moving towards energies, um, you know, Leos that are just as compassionate. They they know, they know your your creativity, they know the time and effort that you put into people that you invest into people. They try to encourage you, invest in yourself. Invest in your, you got stuff to do. You got all these great ideas. I'm talking to you again. If you got Leo anywhere in your chart, even my cross watchers, we're not talking about your Leo ex that you don't like, or those Leo cousin or sister or somebody or sibling you don't like. We're talking about where Leo is in your birth chart. This is where source is trying to help somebody. Vision, right? 43 to find enlightenment, seek nowhere for it lives within you. I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all keep trying to help people find enlightenment within themselves, but you can't force people. You really can't force people. Don't even get frustrated. Don't even get frustrated. Just learn those two letters, O and K, and be on your merry way. Okay. Okay, hey, if I'm a nightmare in your life, please, you only have to tell me once and you don't even have to utter the words nightmare. I can just see the despair in your face and I'm, I'm moving out. I'm gone. Deuces, I'm out. That's where I see for you. So here are the questions for the moon and Capricorn as we lay the rest of the cards out and go ahead and close out your reading, uh, Leos. Because, <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so uh, first question is, what are your top three priorities this week, this month, and this year? The second question is, what are your biggest fears? The third question is, do you have specific daily rituals and routines that nourish you? The fourth question is, do you reward yourself when you accomplish something? And then last but not least is, how much of your day or week do you block out for self-care and personal development? Yeah. Yeah, this, I mean, you're going to feel very fortunate. I'm telling you. I mean, it's just like a person who just took off, like your business takes off, all kinds of stuff take off. Because let these moon phases help you. Let these moon phases help you. Don't be so much in doing and taking action mode that you don't know how to sit back and receive messages. Here we have the five of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Like I said... You and your person in, in business and or in love, y'all about to meet. You all are about to meet. And it's about to be a takeoff of business and just money coming. So here we have the seven of swords here. So swords been trying to tell somebody to leave certain energies behind a long time ago. Because it'll try to it'll drive you crazy trying to speak life into energies that are determined to just do things their way. When you can see, hey, all you have to do, you try to tell them in the nicest, sweet the nicest one. All you have to do is try this. You know, you're trying to tone it down. <laughs> like, what? you trying to tone it down. So, yeah, let's go ahead and close this out. So, here we have the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Wands, right? So, I definitely see something has increased your prayer life. That I, I see that has increased your prayer life. But I definitely see moving forward when you're, you know, trying to um, get together with your soul community, right? People who just get you at a soul level, right? They already know they're not toxic. They're not, you know, trauma bonding, none of that mess. Here we also have the two of pentacles and another stream of income is coming. Like, so it, like I say, it's harvest time. Source is like trying to put you around other people who you're motivated by and they motivate you. They motivated by you. You motivated by them. Like it's just a, it's a, I see you going into business with people. That's what's going to add to somebody's wealth. Here we have the queen of cups and continue pouring it, you know, pouring compassion. I see you just being around a lot of people who are compassionate, right? 
And so when you when you enter into these spaces um, of people who are leaving their leaving toxicity out at the door, they're like, I'm not even bringing that into these spaces. We got we got whatever amount of hours that you have with these energies. You're not bringing problems into groups, right? You're not bringing all the sarcasm, the messiness, the gossip, all that other stuff. Remember, time is money. And so if you bring that toxicity into the group, now everybody's like, is it as salacious as some gossip may be? Now you just stole other people's time for that. When well, you can put all of that in therapy if you want to. Source is saying to you, you know, this is where Source is trying to put some people around you that's going to really help you. I mean, like really help you take your business to the next level really help you, you know, be around those types of energies because, oof, mm. but like I said before, because you come from a long, long, long line of energies that, um, you know, really root for the underdog, that's the part of yourself you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose that, you know, I'm trying to inspire people, but some people got, they got to meet you halfway for real. People have to meet, if they're not willing to meet you halfway, you're going to have to say, okay, well, I already know how this is going to end. So here we go. Um, you have the gift of premonition. That's forewarning. That's forewarning. And that's what this is right here. The more time you invest into something and all it's going to take is for them to say, you know, um, you didn't have to do all of that. Or, you know, like, um, you know, uh, I thought you, you were doing it out of the kindness of your heart. It'd be like tick, tick, boom, right? Like, you know, so source is saying, you have to be in receiving mode of people being appreciative of what you're pouring into them. That's sunniness, right? And if they're showing you that they're not, it, it shouldn't take, I mean, you, you have to, you have to gauge it yourself, but you have the gift of um, uh, premonition, right? So somebody apologizes for hurting you. Yeah. So apology accepted, you know, so, but I see you moving on. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah, circle, cycle, close, close out in love. You move, <laughs> you move on, and it's not as deep as you think. That's what I'm trying to tell somebody is like you can get frustrated all day long and say I invested so much time and such, and I could have been doing X, Y, and Z. So it's just saying I need you to see it from a higher frequency. You have a good heart. You root for the underdog. Great, keep that good heart, right? But stop over giving because who the energy that you are somebody could be really angry with is themselves. Somebody could really be angry with themselves, right? So somebody apologizes for betraying you. Mm -hmm. And here we have, you have the gift of deja vu, remembering the future, right? So, you know, you're in situations, it's like, this seems oddly or eerily familiar. I already know how this is going to end. That's what I'm saying before I even pulled the cards out. So it's like, you know, it's time for you to tap into your gifts. It's time for you to tap into your gifts. So that's that's the importance of we had a moon in Virgo and Virgo is a perfectionist sign. We're not talking about any Virgos that you know, whether you like Virgos, if you're on the cusp, you could be on the cusp, right? You could be on the cusp of any zodiac sign, but we're talking specifically about the moon in Virgo. When you sat down with that checklist and went in through your mind, Virgo is ruled by Mercury and you started remembering things the messages that source was trying to send across your path. That's another reason why journaling is good too, because you can go back and read what you wrote from the inside. What was the message that source interpreted from the inside out, right? So yeah. So anyway, here we have 12, 12 and 10, 10. Yeah. You see numbers in sync, right? And the only thing in between is 11, 11. That's you stick yourself right in between there. I need to get off the fence, stop overthinking something, giving so much time to something, feeling like I wasted time because you didn't waste time, right? Time is a relative. Um, and so source is saying you're patient and you're focused. So keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. Also stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into a reality. And that's what you're doing. You really can't fault people for how they were raised, right? And 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 how long it's going to take for them to um, you know, take for them to kind of come to their their um, you know, graduate from whatever, you know, earth school they're graduating from on this journey. I feel like the the more you start to look at self and start saying Leo's, I've noticed just in the past from my own nightmares when I overgive to energies that, you know, 
you know, I don't have to start to think, am I good enough? Of course you are. That's why you're still breathing or at least watching the video. I mean, I'm, I assume you still, you're alive if you watch the video, but source is saying to you, you don't have to keep overdoing it to a point of frustration and burnout in your family, friendships, other people's family, none of that stuff. Some people, you drop one golden nugget in their spirit. They take off like a rocket. Thank you, Leo. I'm so glad that God sent you across my path. Some people, you got to keep on, you got to light the whole book of matches and you still burn. Now you going on a second book of matches, keep on striking matches, trying to, it's just too much. But anyway, that's what I have for you, Leos. Hopefully you all are learning, continuing to learn your lessons you know, about self. And, and like I said, keep having a good heart, keep having a good heart. But when source tells you to move on from something, when source tells you to move on from something, somebody going to listen from now on. Somebody's like, okay, oh, oh, source told me it, it could hit you in a dream in the middle of the night. God can say, I need you to get up and I need you to go on with your life. Somebody's going to listen from now on. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, let's get one last card, Leos, and we're going to go ahead and close this out. But yeah, there's no reason to beat yourselves up. Just start paying attention to that inner voice. Affirmations for abundance. Abundance is my birthright. There's a piece of pie with my name on it. Money flows to me easily and freely. I'm attracting everything I need for this season. I let go of what weighs me down. That's why you see this card right here. What weighs you down? Carrying other people's stubbornness and 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 they got to be blowtorch before they move. Hey, look, okay, listen, do your thing. Um, I let go of what weighs me down. Opportunities align with my purpose surround me. I am true to myself. That's it. That's it, Pegasus. Where's the card? Break free, dear one. Break free. That's what I have for you all, Leos. Like I said, go be wealthy unapologetically. So that's what I have for you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.